The game we call billiards, they tell us, began with the ancient Egyptians. Billiards, which is a game that's been around for centuries, is finally seeing a resurgence like it's never seen before. You have Shane Van Boning appearing on 60 Minutes. Can the South Dakota kid helped turn pool into a proper pro sport. We hit the circuit with him to find out. Fedor Gorse on the Joe Rogan podcast. You are the first professional pool player to ever be on this podcast. Yeah, so thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. How old are you, man? I'm 22. And then you have Barry Hearn from Matchroom Pool at the biggest Moscone Cup we've seen yet saying stuff like this. So if we can get a pool circuit that's paying 10 million pounds a year instead of two, how big can it get? The Matchroom rankings next year probably will have somewhere around 35 events in. Even more incentive for him to practice in the morning. There is no limit to how big it could be. He's made the nine ball! It's unbelievable! I didn't think he was on Phil Holmes. He done that. The fans are turning out now. The players are interacting with the fans. They're creating that magical thing called atmosphere. That is ridiculous! Call in the local roofers. This roof's about to come off. This isn't the first time that we've seen this sport receive a huge push to bring it more into the mainstream. To support the rising tide of popularity that was initiated by the new billiard image, an active movement was developed on many fronts to promote and build the growth potential of the game. In colleges all across the country, student unions installed billiard rooms as a major part of their recreational activities. Many of these schools now offer a course in billiards, and many top caliber players have been developed during national intercollegiate tournaments. It's, uh, it's a, an underappreciated game that occasionally blows up in America. Like during when The Hustler came out, everybody wanted to play pool. And mm -hmm. then there was like a lull, and then The Color of Money came out with Tom Cruise and Paul Newman, and everybody wanted to play pool. And pool rooms exploded all over the country, and it was on ESPN. We're at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. Today, a quarterfinal match between Earl Strickland, number one in the world. But then slowly but surely, it kind of fades. Exactly, but right now, it's not viewed as this professional sport, and it has all the ingredients to be one. We have to elevate the perception to a class, to a quality. I think you're catching the wave at the exact right time. Because of the internet, there's enough people following it where it's starting to emerge, where, and then things like the Moscone Cup, where people see it's so exciting, that I think there's some momentum now. I think. And we're seeing that with the interaction with the players and the crowd and people. While Matchroom and everyone else fights to push the pro scene forward, there is still a huge effort to inspire the youth that started in the 60s. Famous players like world champion Willie Moscone are helping to build this revitalized interest with instruction in fundamentals. By nationwide exhibitions of their wizardry on the table, they are also continuing to arouse a lively interest in this skillful sport. This effort is continued by modern pros today. The health of the sport also depends on minting a new generation of elite players. So this tournament had a junior division held alongside the pros and named, what else, the Shane Van Boning Junior Open. These are future pros? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. They have so much passion for the game. The game itself had fundamental soundness that developed a continuity of interest and held it. This is actually a very complicated game. Pool is a mental game. It really you, is. You can, you can lose a tournament without making any mistakes. I always say that pool is an art form that only the people who practice can appreciate. Pool is a deceptively tricky sport. Stuff that happens in pool will completely screw your brain up. What do you mean? Pool, you see every game something weird will happen. Does that make it more exhilarating or more frustrating? Both. A roll, one extra roll in your foot. Oh yeah. You know, it's, it's such a game of just millimeters. You know, anybody that's really played the game can attest to the fact that it is a game of, of millimeters and that one little roll changes absolutely everything about the outcome goodness. of the game. And 
You know, to be honest, I'm hoping that this video can be one little extra roll for the sport. I hope content like this helps inspire more people to get involved in the game. I hope that it makes more people be excited to be a fan of this sport, right? Like I, I want to create a storyline for people to follow. I want this to kind of be like the side card of the industry. Think of it like the ESPN of pool, you know, like sports center and those other side shows exist to help you fall in love with the players, to help you fall in love with the game, to help you have a deeper understanding and be able to appreciate what's happening. Like that's what makes this whole commercialized sport go full circle here. So guys, if we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. And this is the way forward. So subscribe, like the video, do the things you know that you need to do to help it out in the algorithm. And one last thing before we close out, Joe Rogan, if you happen to see this video, I really think that you should commentate matches at the Moscone Cup. Imagine you and Jeremy Jones in the booth, you and Carl in the booth, you and Earl Strickland in the booth. How strong is that? I cannot wait for this moment to happen. Guys, leave a comment down below. If you, this video has to get enough views for Joe Rogan to see this, to go to the Moscone Cup and commentate with Earl Strickland. So I'm putting it in your hands. If this doesn't happen, it's because you didn't like actually click like on the video, or it's because you didn't actually leave the comment like, like you know, what you wanted to comment, or it's because you didn't send it to your friend that's a pool player, or it's because somebody that knows Joe Rogan that could have sent him this video, didn't send him this video. I don't know, it could be another list of I wonder if I should like cover videos about specific tournaments or do like little mini documentary series about up and coming pro players and help them get sponsorships or I don't know, man. Now that I've kind of changed the direction and what I'm doing with BSN and it's just me now, I can really do anything that I want with this thing. So I think it's time to elevate the game.